Hi everybody, this is Josh from Pomeroy Creative. Today, I wanted to show you kind of a combination of tips. And one of them is Cloud Convert. Now I've alluded to Cloud Convert in some of my videos on iDraw. I use Cloud Convert basically to get uh, vector files such as PDFs or EPS or SVG uh, to a WMF format that Google Drawings can read sort of as a clip art format. And um, so I'm gonna do that for you in this video and show you on screen what that process looks like for me. For example, if you obtain a vector graphic from a designer for your business logo or whatever it might be for, um, I find that still using something that I can use in any web browser and I could share it with my, maybe my colleagues and allow them basically to have access to that vector graphic in documents and uh, presentations and, and et cetera, might be a really great way to get my branding very solid and sort of spread throughout my, my, my business or organization, whatever it might be. So to be able to get maybe more complex graphics um, imported into Google Drawings that are still vectors, okay? That's, that's the issue here. If you get a bitmap that maybe, uh, hopefully you get a PNG, where, which has a transparent background so that you're able to use that and overlap it on something else. But even better would be if you have a vector format version of your logo or whatever graphic that you um, that you need to use. So we're going to do that. And in this case, I have, I have created a, an asset library of all different sorts of shields. And these are all just different shaped shields. And what I've done is, I'm, now I didn't create all of these. I collected them from uh, online resources, free website, uh, freebies, all, all sorts of places. But I've, I've created a collection of them uh, that I really like. And I have simplified the heck out of them. Basically, I just wanted a silhouette. And some of these you see, they have maybe just an extra little outline around them. The one here at the end, again, it's just got a, a, a little outline around it. Other than that, they're solid shapes. Okay. And what I want to do is. Um, convert these to a format that Google Drawings and Google Presentations can see as vector information. So as to be able to change the color, uh, but we'll get to some of the limitations of the WMF format in Google Drawings in just a second. So I've got everything in here that I, that I, that I want to export. And I've made sure that nothing's touching each other, uh, nothing's in a group. As you see, it's kind of messy in my layers panel. But uh, if I select everything, you see all of these are just simple shapes. In this case, the one here at the top right and uh, the top left and the top right are compound paths, and that's okay. Uh, Google Drawings can handle compound paths, but there's no gradients. There's no strokes being used. You can see that over here in the, uh, the appearance panel, no stroke being used. They're solid shapes. And I've exported these to a PDF. PDF is a pretty common format. You, you're, you're probably running into that by now. And so what I'm going to do is upload this PDF to Cloud Convert. So I'll grab the shields.pdf, and I can just drag and drop it into Cloud Convert's website. And I want to change it to a WMF. So under vector here in this dropdown, WMF, so I'm converting from PDF, which is a vector uh, format that can also contain bitmap information as well as editable text information. PDF is a really great, very versatile uh, file format. But I want to convert it to WMF, which as you see here, Cloud Convert knows this is a Windows meta file, WMF. These are similar to SVGs. Uh, They're commonly used in the Microsoft Office, Office applications. This is sort of their clip art format. Okay. So I could convert directly to my Google Drive, or I could just say start conversion. I'm going to start the conversion, um, and you'll see the progress bar go by, and then I can just download that. Or say you're on a Chromebook or something that has um, 
none or very little um, local hard drive space. You could just save it directly to your, your drive. And you can see there, there's, there's several options. Okay, I've already uploaded it here to my, my resources folder. And here you see, this is what happens when I um, drag and drop a WMF into my Google Drive folder. You see, it's actually created a Google Drawings document with those shields in it. And that's how it handles WMF format. And most likely, um, these would all have been in a group. And uh, basically, it would look like, oh, that's just one big shape. Um, but it's not. They're all individual little shields. That's why I made sure that none of them were touching. Nothing was in a group. And if I just do a Command Shift G or Control Shift G, that releases the group or ungroups them. And as you see, I have my little shields. And I can change the color of those shields, et cetera, et cetera. So this is just really, really great. Now I've got a whole library of shields in one Google Drawings document. So I could just simply select one, copy it, and paste it right into another document. Just as easy as that. Um, this is really, really uh, useful, I think, for... for um, that's that's weird. Did you see that? I'm, I must have double clicked in there. And that brings me to something that I want to want to share with you. So this this was just another Google drawings that I had open to show you. Um, this is I use this commonly with um, sort of um, icons and buttons and logos. So I've got my social media uh, other icons that I want to use, and I keep them right here handy in my Google Drive. Now, the difference between a imported WMF vector file and something, say, that I created with the curve tool in Google Drawings, I'll create a silly shape here. Now, if I double click on this shape, I see my nodes, my little purple circles. And I can move those nodes around, and I can change this shape just like it was clay. Super cool. If I double click on a WMF imported vector graphic, I get this little blinking cursor and I can type on it. Basically, it treats imported WMFs the same way that it treats its shape library of primitives. These are primitive shapes. So if I drag in one of these primitive shapes and double click on it, you see I get the same thing. A blinking cursor and I can type on that shape, which is actually pretty handy for blocking things out or mocking, mocking up like a website or um, just creating a button. I can just drag out a rectangle, double click, make sure it's in the center and vertically aligned to center. And I can just say download, change my, uh, my font here. And I've got a pretty nice button. So that's how Google Drawings handles WMFs. That's also the limitations of, of WMFs. You can't go in and then decide, I would rather have this shape or that shape. But that's kind of the point. If you're going to import graphics that have been created in some other program, chances are those are maybe a little bit more complicated or more specific. Like, I don't want to change the Facebook icon. I want to leave it as the Facebook icon. But I want to be able to use it on maybe a, a a document that I'm working on. So that WMF format comes in really handy for me. And as you see here, that's kind of the way that I use it in uh, that I use the the, the, the format um, as a rule of thumb as basically just a uh, each document that I have or each WMF that I import, um, I use as sort of a, a shape library. So I can open up these Google drawings now grab the shape that I want, copy and paste it, change the color, move it around, scale it, um, and it's still vector information. Really, really cool. 
And I've used Cloud Convert to do that, convert from PDF into um, WMF. Now, another thing that I want to get to here is what doesn't work with this process. So here you see I've got this little bit of text here that just says vector. But I've chosen a font that's, I know, not going to exist on every system. It's definitely not a web font. And I know this font doesn't uh, exist in Google Drive. But what I'm going to do is just have that selected. And just to show you, this is, this is editable text. These aren't curves. I'm going to export that selection, again, to PDF. And I've already done this, so I'm just going to show you here. We'll go back to Cloud Convert. And we'll start over. Import the... Actually, this one just said font, so but I'm going to go ahead and um, convert this as well to WMF, start conversion. Okay, then download. Again, I'm just going to drag that WMF into my Google Drawings folder. Now, here's the problem. There's our file. That doesn't look like the font we chose. And if I open it up, it sure ain't the font we chose. And it's not editable text. This is a big problem. This is sort of useless. Why would I want this? I could create this with word art, but it would be editable. You see what it has done here is, I can ungroup this. Here's the letters. I can break them apart. It's just put them into a group. But it's not the font that I chose. Um, and it's not even editable. So I'm going to delete that file. Here's what you want to do. If you're using a vector graphics program and you're delivering uh, files to your client or your boss or just for yourself, please convert your fonts into curves. So in iDraw, the way to do that is go up to Modify, and you go down here to Convert Text to Outlines. It calls them outlines in this program, which are curves. Another thing that I'm going to do is rather than uh, sort of uh, independent little pieces over here, I'm going to make sure these are um, uh, converted to a compound path. Okay, So that's a compound path. And now I will export that as a PDF. OK, exported that as a PDF once again. Back to Cloud Convert. Grab our new file here, vector PDF. It's already set to um, convert to WMF. We'll start that conversion. Click download, drag that file in, you'll see a big difference here. That's the font that I wanted, and that's how I want it to look. So this is really great and really useful for uh, getting your logos into uh, Google Drawings in a vector format. So you see here, this is a single object. It's vector information. I can change its color. I can scale it. I can actually stretch it if I want, but I don't want to do that. So I'll hold shift. I can rotate it. There's no background on it. It's not uh, been converted to a JPEG. It's vector. Uh, and that's what I want. So that's how you can use um, Cloud Convert to get your uh, graphic assets into a Google Drawings compatible format and just some best practices for using any vector graphics application to, um, to really deliver the best possible and best compatible file formats and the, uh, the arrangements of those files to make sure that you don't run into errors or problems like we just noticed. Also, make sure that your paths are closed. You don't want any stray points or any open paths. Uh, you also get errors with that when trying to convert. This also does not, Google Drawings does not support gradients. 
So make sure you have flat colors. That's why you saw the shields. I just, they're all black. And it doesn't matter to me because I can change the color to whatever I want inside Google Drawings. What I do want is a quick sort of shape library. And when they're black and white, I can see the shapes really quick. So again, this the way that I like to use it, the process that I use to try to get my uh, more complicated vectors into Google Drawings compatible format to use in my Google Drawings documents. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next video.